Does it feel like the qualities of being soft-spoken and polite are contradicting with the qualities of being firm, and yet you see the value of both and you want to achieve that in your leadership? Well, in this video, I want to share with you how you can be soft-spoken and polite, yet also firm. Right? They are not contradictory, and this will shed some light on how do you achieve those outcomes for yourself when you're leading your teams. All right, so let's go through the notions in terms of each of those qualities. We have three of them. We have soft-spoken, we have polite, and then we have firm. So let's go in order. First, we are talking about soft-spoken. When it comes to being soft-spoken, the one thing that it has similar with being polite is that they are extrinsic. So soft-spoken and polite are extrinsic, which means that they are produced out external to you. They're produced on the outside. Because soft-spokenness, that trait, means being able to convey, communicate. The sounds that your voice makes are more of the, a quieter, more of a soft voice. The sounds that your voice, the quality of the sound of your voice. And that is the quality of being soft-spoken. So there's a degree of quietness. There's a degree of softness to your tone and the quality of the sound. So that's being soft-spoken. And that's external. That's extrinsic. The other one is being polite. Polite is the perception from your audience, the people that are your listener, that they perceive you as being receptive to them, they perceive you as being respectful to them, they perceive you as being acceptance, accepting of them. And so therefore, that is the quality of being polite. Both of these things are produced extrinsically. They are received and they are interpreted by your listeners. But when it comes to being firm, that quality is intrinsic. So here's what I mean by that. There is not a observable action or an audible word to say to exude firmness. Firmness is, extra, is intrinsic, which means that it is a quality of you, a sureness, a certainty of who you are, a certainty as well, an awareness of what are your boundaries, and as well, a certainty of where is my competency, where is my beginning, where do I begin and where do I end, and being embracing of that. And it's also a certainty of being aware, self-aware, and reflectively aware of all of your characteristics, your traits as well, the skills that you have amassed, and your ability to be able to connect with individuals, and your ability to be decisive. So this is the executive presence, how you show up, and the way that you act, and the way that you behave, how decisive you are. So these are intrinsic. They are personal qualities. They are characteristics and traits. So it is possible to be soft-spoken and polite, which are extrinsic, but at the same time layer that with an intrinsic quality of being firm. When somebody is firm, how do they show up? They are authoritative. They are sure and certain of themselves. Right. They have done a lot of work to be competent, to achieve a level of competence. And when they show up in front of you, they have a level of executive presence. They command the room. They're decisive. Right? And they also have firm boundaries of here. I don't want to, this is not what I want. This is what I want. And they have these boundaries. But they're polite at articulating it. They're soft-spoken at sharing with you where, they're, where their tolerance is. So this is how you achieve all three. And when you are able to navigate, what are extrinsic qualities? What, are, what am I putting out there? That's extrinsic, soft-spoken and, and polite is what you're putting out there. But at the same time, you wanna work on firmness. You wanna be firm as a leader. This is now working on you, the intrinsic qualities. Right? So if you're serious about achieving this outcome for yourself and you're wondering, well, how do I work on myself? How do I ensure that I am firm? How do I ensure that I, am, I have executive presence? How do I ensure that I am the best leader I can be? That is the firmness, this intrinsic quality. If you're, if you're wondering, how do I do that? Then I invite you, below this video, in the description, there's a link. And that's a link for you to send an application. And this is where we review it to either talk to myself or someone from my team. This is really to explore whether or not this is the right fit for you. And I'm going to work with you every single week to show you how do you develop that quality. How do you turn your eyes inwards and not just be producing outside, uh, externally, but also be producing intrinsically so that you can show up as a leader you desire to be? So this is one of the biggest personal development journeys of your life if you desire to accelerate, if you desire to accelerate your career path, your communications, your leadership as well. It is the biggest personal development journey of our life. So if you're ready for that and you're serious about it, then click the link below and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. So the video that I have coming up next is to show you and talk about a little bit more how do you become confident when you are speaking with executive senior leaders. Right? That video is coming up right next after this, so stay tuned there and it'll help you really deepen your skill set. So I'll see you there.